Hello people, you don't know the amazing discovery that I have done. Like, I know that a lot of people was like worrying about like the high temperatures that we were getting in the CPU when or we were playing that were like around 80s. Sometimes we jump into the 90s. And like a lot of people has been asking me in the comments, hey, but you have these high temperatures that are dangerous for the CPU. Well, first of all, I wanna say that. At least I have been talking with Galaxy Tech Reviews who have made like amazing reviews of this laptop and he has told me that and something that is like really true that these are gaming laptops. I mean the form factor is smaller, everything is more compressed. We have to keep in mind that it's not as good as a desktop PC when it's about the cooling of the parts, etc. But he told me that as long as the temperature is between the 80s, everything should be fine. Because when we are steadily in the 90s is when the problems begin with all these things that can damage the CPU. Even if the Intel page says that the maximum operating temperature of the CPU is 100 degrees Celsius. And at least in my other gameplays we have gotten like around the 80s, 85 average. Sometimes we jump into the 90s but we didn't keep there like too long, which is good. However, I know that still this was concerning a lot of people because 80s is like a lot of temperature. And I made like an amazing discovery. Okay, to be honest, like this is the second version of this gameplay that I'm re uh, of this benchmarking that I'm recording because the first one I recorded with the open broadcaster and had some issues, etc. And when I was recording that gameplay, uh, I was getting high temperatures, like, I, I, won't joke, I won't lie to you, I was getting 92, 94, and I was keeping it steady at those temperatures, even with the cool boots, boots on and everything, I was like, what is this, why is this happening, like, there must be a scientific explanation why in Galaxy Tech Reviews, I'm, uh, I'm not, like, he's not getting these high temperatures, ago, and I'm doing the alien in and to be honest, I don't know if, if he turned this option on, off or not, but I downloaded an application that is called Throttle Stop. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's an application that you can use to underclock your CPU or overclock it. Okay, so the thing is that in that Throttle Stop, I have an option to disable Turbo Boost because we know that this processor is 2.8 GHz like at the base, but you can Turbo Boost it up to 3.4 GHz if my memory doesn't fail. Anyways, I was checking like this Intel String Tune Utility and, I, and when I was playing the, this game in the first uh, attempt to record this benchmark, when I was in the 92, 90 Celsius, I was looking that the CPU uh, speed, the clock speed was around 3.4 GHz. And I was like, okay, and what if we disable Turbo Boost and then we go down to the original clock speed that it's 2.8 GHz? Okay, so I went to Throttle Stop and there's an option that says Disable Turbo Boost and I disabled the Turbo Boost. And surprise, I was getting 70s. I rarely got jump into the 80 Celsius while I was playing this in high settings. Everything is extremely high. Uh, and I'm gonna show you right now, for example, if I go to options, graphics, first of all, everything is in very high resolutions, everything. If I go back to advanced graphics, everything is very high, very high, very high, very high, etc. Also, another thing that I want to tell everyone is don't get disappointed if you're getting, like, for example, 50, 49 FPS with all these settings because we're pushing the laptop very, very high. Especially for this uh, being a, a, more, a laptop a graphics card and not its GPU, uh, its desktop counterpart that has like the cool fans and everything for a better cooling. So do not feel bad because we're pushing this really, uh, really hard. And also the gameplay is smooth, even if we are at 45 FPS or anything. So do not worry. If you play at high or play like tweaking the settings, putting some things in ultra and other things like in just higher, you're gonna get like amazing results and you're gonna always be in the 60 FPS. Okay, so let's resume my game that I was playing before all this happened. Right now we are in 747 FPS. The temperatures are 58 Celsius. Oh, I haven't like put the fans in maximum yet. I wanna test first what happens with the settings in auto in the predator sense utility for the fans. If in auto we are getting below the 80s, everything is cool. If not, I'm gonna change it to the maximum fan speed so we can check like uh, how many this improved the temperature? Okay, so. Okay, I'll give you cover. 
we are here so far 61 celsius 60 celsius maximum 61 maximum we're getting 40 fps but it jumps back into the 50 fps and 60 I've never played Crisis before, and one thing, thing that pisses me off is that this game doesn't have two options, the single one in this game. There's no option for setting it on or off, on or off, and that's a little disappointing in this game. Oh, I died. Okay, so for maximum temperature that we're hitting 71 Celsius. I mean, these results are amazing, and for all you people that was like worried about the temperature, this is the solution, I mean, the gameplay has, hasn't been like affected at all by me disabling turbo boost. I was getting the same FPS before the disabling turbo boost and after I was still getting the same FPS. And also the processor itself is really powerful, so you don't need those extra 50 GHz. I don't think that they're gonna affect your gameplay that much. I mean, I don't think that they're gonna have affected at all, to be honest. Forty-two FPS, maximum temperature seventy-three FPS. Ah, seventy-two degrees Celsius. Sorry. That again. Been 73 Celsius so far. Seventy Celsius so far. Okay, I'll give you cover. Let's link up on the far side. Guys, this is just beautiful, let me. Maximum temperature that we're getting or have gotten 73 Celsius. And the fan settings are in auto, they are not even in the highest fan settings in the creator sense. I, I don't even hear fan noise in the laptop right now. Well, we're only in 40 FPS and we're jumping back into the 50 FPS, but the gameplay is smooth. I don't have any complaint about the gameplay right now. And once again, keep in mind that I'm using the highest of the highest set and do not be disappointed with this result because you can play with the settings and get more FPS. But to be honest, I don't see why people are that crazy about FPS because at least for me, this is a smooth thing. I don't see like any any lag or anything in the game that might be like oh no you're not in the 60 fps like everything is perfect right now however if you are like a crazy maniac about fps or anything you can always like play with the settings so every everything is not in ultra and you can get steady 60 fps however i'm gonna try like later on updating my drivers even if i already update them to the with the nvidia uh, nvidia how is experience thingy and then not in the not in the latest game drivers so it's completely updated but I wanna double check to see if, if my drivers are completely updated that may increase my CPU my FPS count maximum temperature right now 76 Celsius 70 Celsius but we are going down again to the 73 74 we're keeping steady in average about 73 Celsius we're getting some 76, 74, 75, 74, 
Mr. Goodbye. I mean, we are not killing the aliens. This is amazing. Maximum temperature 76 Celsius. Okay, one last try because I think that I have proven already what give you cover. Let's link up. What I wanted to prove. Because in my latest gameplay it took me like <laughs> I'm not joking. Less than four minutes to get into the nineties. It was insane. But this time everything is beautiful. I don't have any single complaints about this. 51 FPS, 52 FPS, 49 FPS. What's going on here? Oh shit, shit, they're here, call it in. Actual 2 4, HVT is at the bridge area 5, Delta 6, need backup, over. That just made my job a little bit harder. Invincible motherfucker. Huh? What's that? Right now, 76 Celsius, 77 Celsius. And once again, I must keep in mind that my fans are not like in the maximum settings right now. I'm just in normal automatic settings. Maximum temperature reached so far 87 Celsius, 77 Celsius. Seventy-seven Celsius. We are keeping steady. Seventy-six Celsius. Seventy-seven Celsius. Seventy-six Celsius. And also, if you wanna keep, if you wanna add something extra to all this, keep in mind. Oh well, I can tell you that I'm not making this gameplay in your place that I was making it before. Right now, I'm in a hotter room. I think that the room temperature is like 26 Celsius, something like that. So yeah, I'm, I think that I'm at two, a few degrees under of the other place of the other place that I was making my my benchmarks.
Okay, I died. So far, we never like got steady into the into the something passing 77 celsius which is amazing like this this has solved the secret of why the cpu was getting so hot just disable turbo boost with throttle stop or any error like um underclocking or overclocking software and that's it we are in perfect temperature now we can stop worrying about heating frying our cpus or whatever and the gameplay hasn't been affected at all because of disabling the turbo boost and even the fans are more quiet the laptop itself is not hot if i'm touching it just a little bit in the upper part like right below the screen but that's normal because the fans are and all the heat system is dissipating the heat there but other than that in the keyboard area everything is is okay everything other than that is completely cold and we're getting nice temperature 77 celsius maximum 70 going back into 76 and to 75 so once again would i recommend this computer of course i would recommend it people have said hey should i wait and get maybe uh, in a few wait a few more months to get a better one well i mean the other gt gtx 6 1060 laptops are for example the asus are like 300 dollars more than this one and also, if you're waiting for Black Friday, maybe they're only going to reduce $100 of it. So it's not going to be like a circumstantial change. And maybe you're getting like a few more USB 3.0 uh, ports. But other than that, this laptop and th that one is like exactly the same specs. And I like that this is, again, I said it very lightweight. I don't know if the ASUS is a little bit more heavy. But I like that it's portable, that the laptop looks amazing, the performance is outstanding, I will never say, I will never say the opposite. And the only last thing that I was worried about was the temperature, but looking at this, disabling the turbo boost, we're below the, the 80s and that makes me happy. Everything below the 80s is perfect. Uh, we have achieved it by just disabling the turbo boost. Okay, so you, if you have any questions, write in the comments, I'll be really glad to answer you. And if I recommend this, yes, of course I recommend this for for uh, work, for university, for gaming, light and hard, and also for uh, digital drawings. So, I hope that you find this useful. Whatever you want in the comments, let me know. Bye.